previewing week eight in college football here at SBR Foreign Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Troy West from allplayswin.com who's going to discuss uh, TCU Oklahoma State with us right now. Troy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks, Pete. As we've said in the other videos, a tough weekend at allplayswin.com, but we're going to keep trucking. That's what we do over here. That's why our clients are with us. We're here 24-7. I encourage people to come take a look and Let's, uh, let's hope for a better weekend this time, Pete. Yeah, and the most important thing, you say it this time, I'm going to say it. Money management, you know what I mean? You can have 70% mm -hmm. winners, and if you're betting incorrectly, if you're betting too much, you will still lose. Money management is as important, if not more important, than picking winners. Amen. Amen, Pete. I couldn't, could not agree more. All right, TCU, Oklahoma State. Uh, Oklahoma State's a seven-point home favorite. They're coming off a bye, and TCU, you know, a good team this year, not quite the TCU of old. They beat Kansas by 10 at home. Before that, they lost by three. At Oklahoma, um, I'm thinking that Oklahoma State probably has a pretty significant edge here coming off the bye. Again, TCU on the road, not a very, uh, not quite the same as, as, as the TCU teams that we saw in years past. Seven, is it a little bit too much? Maybe, maybe not. My initial lean would be Oklahoma State minus seven, but let's see what you have to say. Yeah, I really do like Oklahoma State mm -hmm. in this game, Pete. I just think, like you said, coming off the bye, this is a team that's kind of been waiting for this big game to come up, and TCU might be that opponent. TCU is struggling right now. You know, they're, they're, they're playing teams tight, but I'm not impressed with TCU. They've got some banged-up quarterback stuff going on. They're not really sure who they're going to be starting this week. I think Oklahoma State gets it done. I like this Oak State team. They're good on both sides of the football. They're great in special teams. And they're also very, very good at home. So I think it's a seven's a small number at home, Pete. I, I like Oklahoma State to get it done. Probably a good team to even pop in a, in a couple teaser bets, but – Let's stick with uh, minus seven. Oak State gets it done at home. What about the fact that uh, TCU went into Oklahoma and, and played it very tight? Do you take much from that game? You know, that was one of our plays, Pete. We had mm -hmm. TCU in yes, that game. I, I do take a little bit yeah. from it. I, you know, they're well coached. They, they're, their defense is good. But I just think it's, they're not good enough here uh, to stay within seven. Like you said, they, they've been on the road now. They've struggled. I think this team's drained at this point in the season. And as I talked about at quarterback, you know, inconsistent play. And it looks like their guy's banged up. So, I think Oak State gets it done on Saturday, Pete. All right. Well, as Troy said, he did take TCU against Oklahoma in that one. I think they were getting like 10.5 points here. Going the other way, Oklahoma State off the bye minus 7 is Troy's pick. Thanks so much, Troy.